We've all been there. You're scrolling through social media and see an ad for a tempting treat. It's just $5 you think, what harm could it do? But here's the thing. Those small, seemingly insignificant expenses can add up over time, creating a slow and steady drain on your finances. This is the insidious nature of the money drip. Think about it. That daily $5 coffee becomes $150 a month. And over a year, that's $1,800. That weekly takeout dinner for two, it easily morphs into $400 a month or more. Annually, that's nearly $5,000. These aren't extravagant purchases, but their cumulative effect on your wealth can be significant. The problem with the money drip is that it often goes unnoticed. We tend to focus on our big expenses, rent, mortgage payments, car payments, while overlooking the smaller recurring ones. But the truth is, those small expenses can sabotage your financial goals just as effectively as their larger counterparts. To plug the leaks in your financial ship, it's crucial to develop an awareness of your spending habits. Start tracking your expenses for a month, noting down everything you spend, no matter how small. You might be surprised at what you discover. Those small purchases can really add up, and recognizing them is the first step to taking control of your finances. The Latte Factor, popularized by author David Bach, argues that cutting back on small, regular expenses, like that daily latte, can free up significant cash for savings and investments. The idea is that these small savings can accumulate over time, leading to a substantial amount of money that can be redirected towards more productive financial goals. While the concept has its merits, it's essential to approach it with a balanced perspective. Not all small expenses are frivolous and sometimes they bring joy and comfort to our daily lives. Yes, cutting back on unnecessary expenses is always a wise financial move. However, it's important to distinguish between what is truly unnecessary and what adds value to your life. But focusing solely on small indulgences while ignoring bigger financial decisions can be misleading. It's crucial to look at the bigger picture and understand where the most significant savings can be made. For instance, negotiating a lower rent or refinancing your mortgage could potentially save you hundreds of dollars each month, far more than you'd save by skipping your daily coffee. These larger financial decisions often have a more profound impact on your overall financial health. The key takeaway? Don't get bogged down in the minutia of every penny saved. Instead, focus on the broader aspects of your financial strategy. Instead, strive for a holistic approach to your finances. This means considering both your income and expenses, and making informed decisions that align with your long-term goals. Identify areas where you can cut back on both small and large expenses, and prioritize those that will have the most significant impact on your overall financial well-being. By doing so, you can create a balanced and sustainable financial plan that supports your lifestyle and future aspirations. We live in a world obsessed with convenience. From food delivery apps to ride-sharing services, there's a premium placed on making our lives easier. While these services can be incredibly useful, they often come with a hefty price tag. The convenience trap sneaks up on us because it plays on our desire for instant gratification. It's easier to order takeout than to cook at home. It's faster to hail a ride than to walk or take public transportation. But these seemingly small choices can eat away at your finances over time. The solution? Embrace a little bit of good inconvenience. Challenge yourself to cook at home more often. Explore alternative transportation options like walking, biking, or public transit. Not only will you save money, but you might also discover hidden benefits like improved health and a deeper connection to your community. We've all been there. A stressful day at work, a fight with a loved one, a general feeling of being down. In those moments it can be tempting to turn to retail therapy for a quick pick-me-up. But emotional spending can wreak havoc on your finances, leaving you with a pile of unwanted purchases and a sense of regret. The key to combating emotional spending is to identify your triggers. What situations or emotions tend to lead you to overspend? Once you're aware of your triggers, you can develop coping mechanisms to deal with them in healthier ways. Instead of reaching for your wallet, try going for a walk, calling a friend, or engaging in a favorite hobby. Find activities that bring you joy and help you de-stress without breaking the bank. Section 5. The Debt Spiral When Credit Cards Turn Costly 
Credit cards can be valuable tools for building credit and managing expenses, but uh, they can quickly turn into a financial burden if not used responsibly. It's easy to swipe now and worry later, but that mindset can lead to trouble. The danger lies in the ease with which we can overspend and accumulate debt. The convenience of credit cards can mask the reality of our spending habits. When we carry a balance on our credit cards, we're essentially taking out a high interest loan. This can be a costly mistake if not managed properly. Those interest charges can quickly add up, making it difficult to get ahead financially. Over time, the interest can become overwhelming. To avoid the debt spiral, make it a priority to pay off your credit card balance in full each month. This practice can save you from accumulating unnecessary interest. If you're already carrying debt, create a debt repayment plan and stick to it. Consistency is key to getting out of debt. Consider using the snowball method, where you focus on paying off your smallest debts first to gain momentum, which can be very motivating, or the avalanche method, where you prioritize debts with the highest interest rates. Both methods can be effective, depending on your financial situation. Section 6. Neglecting the Future. The Importance of Saving Early and Often. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to put off saving for the future. After all, retirement can feel like a lifetime away. But the truth is, the earlier you start saving, the more time your money has to grow. Compound interest is a powerful force. When you invest your money, you earn interest on your principal, as well as on any interest earned previously. This snowball effect can lead to significant wealth accumulation over time. Even small contributions to a savings or investment account can make a big difference in the long run. Make it a habit to pay yourself first by automating regular contributions to your savings. Make it a habit to pay yourself first by automating regular contributions to your savings.